Welcome to this demonstration of Oracle Adaptive Intelligent Applications for Manufacturing. Let me log into Oracle Cloud. The AI Apps for Manufacturing has four functional modules, namely Insights, Genealogy and Trace, Predictions, and Factory Command Center. For the purpose of the demonstration today, Let's assume a process manufacturing scenario where in our factory we are making strawberry jams, packaging and shipping to our customers. Let's first look at the insight functionality. Insights are basically patterns of factors and their correlation with respect to particular KPI uh, observed by machine learning analysis from the historic manufacturing data. The insights are organized into multiple KPI categories here that you can see, like quality and yield. And each of these KPI categories uh, organizes multiple insights that have been surfaced from the machine learning analysis. These insights, as you can see, are presented in a very simple form so that uh, business users like process uh, engineer, quality engineer, production supervisor, etc., they can easily understand and probably uh, help them solve in their root cause analysis of problems in the shop floor. You can see there are many uh, insights that the machine learning analysis has produced. Um, and the insights for the quality lists all the factors and their correlation with respect to specific uh, KPIs for the uh, test results. In this example, you can see there are many KPIs related to various products uh, and they are different tests related to the quality. Uh, those have been analyzed by the machine learning models and they have been presented here for uh, business users to consume and uh, uh, leverage in their root cause analysis. Let's look at an example here. This KPI talks about uh, the consistency quality test of the strawberry jam. We have analyzed about uh, 2000 work orders of the strawberry jam uh, which have been completed in the past from November 1st, 2017 to January 26, 2018. And what the system has come up with uh, from the machine learning analysis is, you can see that there are 13.42% of the work orders of strawberry jam had consistency at operation 30 above upper limit when maximum temperature of the oven during the runtime activity of operation was more than 107.5 Fahrenheit. The operator of the kettle equipment was James Smith and the sugar ingredient consumed at operation 20 was uh, about uh, 549 pounds or less and the actual strawberry used in the strawberry jam was supplied by berry farms. As you can see here there are many factors that have in combination have presented a situation where the strawberry jam consistency uh, was observed above upper limit and this this metric presents a 13.42% of the entire work orders that have been analyzed. And what you can also see is the machine learning analysis shows that these factors have a factor influence of 89.49%. Um, this means that whenever these combination of factors were present, 89.49%. 9% of the time the strawberry jam consistency was always above upper limit which you can see from this graph. If you can see that it says that the inside pattern exists in two different condition and one is when the, the consistency was above upper limit and the other one is when the consistency was within upper limit. So you can see that uh, about um, you know 258 work orders which amounts to about 89% of uh, all the work orders that had this pattern were present 
when the consistency of the strawberry jam was above upper limit. So this kind of insight helps in analyzing and uh, you know solving some of the root cause for certain quality problems and yield problems in the factory floor. These charts on the right hand side also shows the correlation of the different factors with respect to the target KPI in this case is the consistency of the strawberry jam. You can see that in this example the maximum temperature that was presented in the inside text um, is reflected in this supporting uh, scatter plot. So this is actually uh, is a result directly from the machine learning analysis. You can also see the entire work orders that were analyzed that exhibited this particular pattern. This includes some as we saw above, um, you know, the consistency was above upper limit as well as certain work orders which had within upper limit. So you can see that process engineers, quality engineers and production supervisors, they can uh, very effectively utilize these uh, machine learning insights and uh, solve some of the root cause um, for certain problems to improve process efficiencies and uh, you know improve the manufacturing um, outputs. Now let's uh, look at the genealogy and trace capability. The genealogy and trace um, functionality allows ability in a free form fashion to explore the manufacturing data of all aspects like manpower, machine, material, methods and management aspects of the production. Uh, in this example, let's try to look at, um, uh, try to trace a lot that was consumed uh, in the production in the past. So um, I'm searching for a particular lot number here, which is a strawberry fruit. And I want to look at where this particular lot was consumed and from where it actually came from. I can see that this berry uh, forms has supplied this strawberry fruit and that has gone into uh, different work orders and I can see that this um, you know work orders have you know resulted in several other work orders which were used to complete the entire uh, jam cases and uh, shipping it to our customers. By the way I can also see that there is a lot that seems to have failed in the consistency test and uh, we have not shipped that particular lot. So you can see that um, how you can explore the entire um, uh, you know aspects of the manufacturing data in this freeform uh, manner. You can also see the timeline of the manufacturing activities of the particular work, work order. Uh, you can see the when the operation was started, when the materials were issued, what happened during the production. Uh, for example, in this case, you can see the temperature went above certain threshold limit and then there was a issue that's probably logged for this um, uh, you know, production problem. So uh, as you can see, the genealogy and trace capability allows a very intuitive visual of uh, tracing all aspects of the manufacturing data. Let's look at uh, the predictions. The predictions functionality provide the ability to uh, you know predict the likelihood of certain uh, events in the current work in progress. You can see that uh, similar to the insights the predictive KPIs have been organized under the quality and yield KPI categories and then there are many uh, predictions that are currently uh, available in terms of the current work in progress. You can see from this um, charts there are many quality predictions uh, that are uh, currently related to the uh, work in progress. For example, there are some consistency related prediction and um, there are many other things that you can see here. Each of this tile in this list presents a particular prediction. It may be a good prediction, uh, meaning that things are going okay, or it could be some alerts which uh, you know the user might need to want to look at it and react and act on uh, those uh, predictive uh, information. So let's look at an example here. 
Uh, this is a work order that we are working on for uh, the strawberry jam and this prediction is talking about uh, the consistency of the strawberry jam uh, of the current work in progress which is um, uh, seems like it is going to go uh, above upper limit so you can see that the prediction has been uh, performed at a frequent interval as the data in the manufacturing process comes in as the operations are progressing in the shop floor. Initially the prediction seems to be on target and things were going okay but as the more and more information were coming in and there are um, prediction alerts that have um, surfaced here which indicates there are certain predictors on the right hand side that you can see is influencing towards the outcome of this strawberry jam consistency to go above upper limit. For example, in this case, the kettle operator or the maximum temperature of the oven or um, the ingredient actual quantity that is being supplied um, are probably causing some of the uh, reasons to this particular strawberry jam batch to uh, have a consistency above upper limit. Uh, these uh, uh, you know predictions ha have been flagged as alerts because this has gone beyond certain threshold and that way uh, some of the business users like production supervisors can uh, act on it and probably uh, you know take necessary um, action to mitigate this situation recover the batches and uh, you know save the cost now let's uh, look at the uh, Factory Command Center. Factory Command Center basically provides uh, the 5M uh, aspect of all the manufacturing data from the current work in progress in the shop floor. It also presents the uh, predictions, current prediction in the shop floor so the shop floor supervisors can quickly act on those and um, uh, try to mitigate those uh, issues. Uh, as you had seen in the predictions flow, this this individual tiles um, drill down provides the ability to look at all the detail of the prediction. While this particular um, you know, supervisor flow navigation allows uh, only the uh, prediction alerts to be accessed. So you can, the operator or the supervisor can focus on the specific uh, alerts and not really uh, you know, be concerned about all predictions that have been happening in the uh, shop floor which may be of interest to another user which which could be accessed through the predictions uh, module functionality the actual um, the navigations from the uh, factory command center also allows to look at uh, the various work in progress in the shop floor uh, and uh, you know look at the details about the timeline of events and such um, so on and so forth This completes the demonstration and thank you for watching.